welcome to my terrible desk slash office situation. Story time, okay? So, this is my desk. We moved it in our bedroom. Um, like it's currently in our bedroom right now. We moved it in our bedroom when we had a friend stay with us just to give it a little more space in there and to not make it feel so cramped. And Zach used this desk with like his whole monitor system set up thing for like a couple of months that our friend was staying with us. So now that I've been like getting used to like having a desk in our bedroom, I thought I was gonna hate it, but I actually kind of love it. And I was like, I think I wanna keep my desk in here. But like even after Zach moves all of his stuff back in the other like guest office room, because one, this room is a lot brighter. Like I don't have a single light on in this bedroom. It's really just this main window. And I guess cause it faces out in the open, I don't even know. We just get a lot more sunlight in here. The other room is so dark and lighting is everything for me. It just depresses me when I'm in a dark room. I, I get a lot happier and I'm a lot more productive when I have like natural light coming in. So that's basically the main reason I wanted to keep it in here. Plus I stay in my bedroom or my living room most of the time. So I was like, why not just move my desk in here as well? So this is the current situation. Literally it's looked like this for like two weeks now, but by the end of this, this will be my workspace and it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be decorated, it's gonna be functional, it's gonna be organized, it's gonna stay neutral because the rest of my bedroom is neutral. So like white and cream and neutral colors. So let me give you an overview of what everything looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick little overview of what the whole desk situation looks like. So this is like a view from like far away, I guess. Clearly it's a disaster, honestly. So up top, this is like, these are the organizers I bought at Walmart yesterday to organize another space, but like part of the office area, I guess. These are like a stack of books and Bible studies I've been kind of going through and just not using yet or haven't stored away yet. And then these, this is my to-do list for today. Clearly we've made so much progress. And then some sticky notes I bought and then a ton of paperwork. Y'all like this is like a thick pile of paperwork, honestly, that I need to go through and file away and everything so i've got this little like area right underneath the desktop a mod podge of oh hey look more paperwork to file all that stuff and then underneath it it's got little like stationary accessories headphones sticky notes stuff like that tons of pens and highlighters i need to go through this is i think this is like happy birthday cards back here the cutest little what is this just like box of important stuff or actually random stuff. This is another container. I think this some of this is Zach stuff, like paperwork for Zach and student ministry and other stuff he does. So who knows what that is? These are some more like little office supplies, if you will. This basket was used to store all of his like um, headphones and game controls when he was in here. So that's empty now. This basket is all my little tech gear that I still need to like reorganize because I don't love the situation it's at but it's okay this is where I've been keeping my whole hair set up like literally on my desk because I have nowhere else to put it but we're not going to keep it here lord willing we're going to change that and then this was just like one file box I had of like paper clipboard stuff like that basically this is just a file box of just important documents and all that stuff so there's a file box and then my rolling cart I'm adding to my desk to help store some more stuff since I have so much. So in this container, this container has been in our storage closet. It's just like the extra closet in the guest room that I store everything in. And this literally just has all my excess office supplies like paper, empty binders, envelopes, notebooks, all the good stuff. So I'm just going to leave this out in case I need stuff in it. And if I don't, then that'll be okay. So now that you've seen everything that I have in the general area, I still have a ton to do. Like first things first, I need to declutter. I think I'm going to like honestly make a little list, but first thing I'm gonna do is just go through everything, declutter it. Second thing is I'm gonna like move everything out if it's not already out, wipe everything down, clean it. Third thing I'm gonna do is try to see what actually I need to put back in the desk and what could probably be thrown away or put somewhere else or just stored completely elsewhere. And then I'll start going through and using some like, I've got a few extra organizer, organizing bins 
um, besides the ones that I bought the other day. So I'm going to see what I want in my rolling cart. I said that weird. What I want in my rolling cart versus what I want on my desk. And then I'll start actually putting stuff where it goes. So like I said, this is going to be a two-day project. Today, I'm really just going to focus on decluttering, getting rid of stuff, cleaning it, and then trying to like map out where I want everything, if that makes sense. So let's get the ball rolling. Before I get into organizing everything, I thought I would show y'all the organizational bins that I have because they're so stinking cute and they're all either clear, white, or like a wood, wood grain color. So I'll start with this. It's like the home edit collection at Walmart. This is their, I think it's their desk, their office drawer kit. Got it. Okay. I just dropped. So I'll show you the two large ones first. So these are the two large ones. Um, they're just like large rectangular. I think they're all, yeah, they're all rectangular, but they're pretty good size. That's the biggest one. And then there's two of each, like I already said, but I'm not picking up all four of them. So there's this medium size bin that I think is like meant for like pens and highlighters and stuff if they fit. And then there's two of the, y'all, there's two of the small ones. And this is meant, so it, it can just be like a small one if you want to open or it comes with like a little divider insert to put in I also got these at Target like I said months and months ago, but they were way too cute to not buy They're in the dollar section. They're like five dollars a piece. but They're so cute. So this is what they look like How cute are these? I know so they're literally just like like a wood top and then a metal base or like metal bin and the top just like it has a little hole like you saw to where you can just like lift it up and then it's just empty inside. So these are like the big ones. I got three of the big ones. And then I got this little set. It's like a, a medium and a small one. And then <clears throat> I really just needed like one of these, but they came in a set. So I was like, whatever. But they're just like white wooden little boxes. There's three of them. They're so cute. There's like the large, medium, and the small. These are also the dollar section. So this whole pack was $5.00. Um, the other sets, the big ones are $5 each and then the small set I think was $5 as well. So sadly they're not at Target anymore because I bought them in May. So now I'll clean up all the package, packaging trash, I think packaging trash and then for the rest of it. <laughs> Now that everything is clean and bright white again, thankfully, I am going to start the decluttering process, if you will, and go through this, this whole stack of papers. We're going to file all of this away and then it's going to be filed and I'm going to feel better and everything's going to be great again and then I'm going to get back to organizing and decluttering all the other stuff.
Okay, so I went through all the different pins, as you saw. I made three piles, basically like one big pile of ones that I like and will keep. Um, like a smaller pile of ones that I don't like, but I'll put in sacks. And then a tiny pile of ones that no longer work or I just don't like. And then after that, I think I'm going to start to compartmentalize everything, like put pins and the stationary stuff and office supplies and the different containers that I have and see like what fits best what looks right stuff like that and then decide where all I want those let's get into like starting to decide what I want to keep at my desk and what I don't want to keep okay I lied there's like a few marks on my wall like I don't know if you can see down here like it just looks dirty and then there's some I don't I don't know it's like right by the window so like somewhere in that area that I think is just from like sitting here like putting your feet on the walls or just like hitting stuff against the wall before the desk was there stuff like that and now that I'm sitting on the floor right beside it it's just kind of driving me crazy so I think I'm gonna get like a magic eraser and try to get the scuff marks off the wall and It is now day two of this whole desk organization project. I'm pretty sure I can get it done today. I think honestly, it's 10. Well, that clock's fast. So it's like 10:45 right now, and I feel like I could get it done today. I do have to leave and get to work in about an hour and a half. Wow, that just hit me how much time that I don't have. Anyways. But then I can come back after work before I have to leave for my small group. Clearly Tuesdays are busy, but that's okay. So one, I've got my coffee. It is so much better. I got a new creamer. So basically what I did yesterday, you can't really see it. I'll show it to you in a second, but I basically just cleaned. So I took off everything, started decluttering, getting rid of stuff that I don't want. And then I started, I wiped down everything, cleaned everything. And then I'm going to go through the rest of the stuff to see like my bucket of office stuff and then the rest of the stuff is literally like you can't see it I know I keep saying that you can't see things I'm sorry but the rest of my stuff is just like lined up at the edge of my bed on the floor um and then I think I'm going to start putting things in compartments like pens pencils who am I kidding I have pencils like pens push pens paper clips like stuff in the little compartments and start organizing things the way I want it and then decide where I want those bins to be in relation to my desk or my little rolling cart that's like right right there okay so I am now just gonna go through all of this stuff that I have and see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep um, and then decide what I actually want at my desk and what I can store away and then I'll start actually putting things in containers and organizing everything <laughs> So, I still have this entire, um, th I love these little white bins. I think they're very convenient. But this entire thing is just full of envelopes, like big and small ones. So, I think what I'm going to do is take all of these out and the note cards because I can store these elsewhere, especially since I won't have quite as many. I'll wipe these clean. And then since I have two the exact same size, I think I'm going to use one for all, um, like blank copy paper like this and then the second one for all my like loose leaf ruled paper and then I can have those either in my little cart or even in here and I think that would honestly just work out so perfectly.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna try to fit all of my techie stuff in this basket into one of these like containers, the little wood top metal ones. So I'm hoping everything will fit. I think it will. I just feel like a giant, giant basket is just a little too much because like it's literally like it's not even full. It's like half full. So I feel like it'll fit in here and it'll make it look better and then it won't look so junky when you look inside the basket because it'll be contained. Okay, so, so now I'm going to organize all of my actual like office supplies, like all my pens and little push pens, paper clips, staples, stuff like that. Sticky notes, tape, and then um, like tape dispenser, stapler, scissors, white out, all the other stuff like that. And to these containers, I'm pretty sure my hole punch, like the big one is just going to stay out because there's... It's not going to fit one of these, and there's no sense in putting something like that in a container, honestly. So I'm going to sort through all of this and put it all in the containers and then see how it looks. Okay, I wanted to show y'all what I ordered from Amazon. Um, it came later, t earlier today. I was gonna say later, but we are in later. It came earlier today and I'm actually so excited about these. So one is this little, like, I don't know what exactly they're called. They're white cable clips, but they're the kind I, on, okay. They're the kind that you stick on your desk um, to like, put your cord through so that it'll stay like on top of your desk instead of having to like go to the ground and find it every time like that kind of thing and I thought that I ordered one pack and I pair well I mean I know I ordered one pack but I didn't know that it came with like a large one and a small one and now I'm even more excited so this large one um I'm gonna put on my desk like if you can see it it's so nice like the cord literally just fits through it and then the back is like the 3m sticky side so I'm gonna stick the big one on my desk, five cords, and then the little one has three cords. And then this other little thing, and other little, the other thing that I ordered in my Amazon order is this um, like screen cleaner. So it comes in like the cutest little case to keep it protected. And um, when you take it out of the case, this little case can be used as like a phone holder because it has like a little lip. It showed a picture of like it holding up a phone. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Um, and then like the weight of it, you just put it like halfway in, I think. So this, um, I'm going to show you how it works in a minute, but you literally, it's this cute little sprays that you literally just like, you can see it. I just sprayed it. That's why it's like dark gray right there, but you just like spray it on your laptop or your phone or iPad or anything. And then this part is a microfiber cloth. So you like spray it like this and then you literally just like wipe it off. I'll link all of these things down below because everybody else needs these too. Bet you thought you wouldn't see me a third day, huh? Well, that's me. That's my life. So, 
Now that we're on day three, I am praying that this is the last day that I have to work on this so that I can finally like sit at my desk and enjoy it. So I feel like we should do a small little progress update to get the third day started. So I'll show you guys what all I've organized um, as far as like what has been placed in like bins that I like and everything. And then the rest of the things to organize. I really don't have too much more to organize, which is very exciting. Um, <clears throat> but I do think there's like a small little section. Of, there's like a basket beside my bedside table. You can't even see it, but it's like, it's like right there, I think. Somewhere over there. Anyways, um, full of like books and a few notebooks. And I really love to like not have to have that basket there, which is why I have a rolling cart, as you can see. So I'm trying to put everything that I currently use in one area, which is at my office space, so that I can go to one area to look for everything. So yeah, I have a lot more organizational bins open that I can still use, which is a great sign. In worst case scenario, I just put them somewhere else in my house. So first I'm gonna show you what all I've done and then I'm gonna talk about what all I still have to do that I will finish today. Okay, so this is what I have organized so far. So I have all of my pens, highlighters, markers, um, all the like little office tiny supplies, all of this stuff like sticky notes, tape, glue, cleaner, all that. And then, um, I don't even know what these things are called, but like stapler tape. And then this does not have a bin because it's honestly, it's honestly just like long. I don't feel like it needs to be in a bin for just that. And then I have my two stacks of paper. I know that's probably like the most annoying thing to look at, but that's what we're working with and it's okay. So I have this stack of blank copy paper and then one for, um, was that ruled paper? Yeah. And then this whole bin of all my techie stuff. So... The rest of the bins, like these are all the rest of them that are open and I can still use, which is exciting. So I'm still debating on what I want to do for that. And then I have, this was really the last of it. So I have note cards and envelopes. I'm not going to keep this many at my desk, but note cards and envelopes. This is just some stuff I honestly need to like file away somewhere. I just haven't yet. And then this is my little like budget binder. Oh, look, here's more bins that are empty. And then my budget binder that I need to store somewhere. That's trash. So that's pretty much where I'm at. This is like the blank space. So I have my entire desk, which is completely empty, as you can see. So the whole empty desk to fill and then my empty rolling cart. And then this is a disaster. So just ignore all of that. And this will not, this is not permanent. But I do want, this is so aggravating. This entire thing of like books and notebooks and everything is honestly just like something that I don't want beside my bed. Like I would love to not have it. And then this whole drawer is full of like notebooks and books and some other office stuff. Oh wow, that's a lot more than I thought it was. And I'd rather not have it at my bedside table either. I'd rather move it all to this area so I can have it all in one area. I'm going to start putting like the things that I already have organized. So like all of my little um, like stationary stuff or whatever. I don't know what to call that, but all of my little office supplies, pens, all that stuff, going ahead and starting to put it where I think I want it. And then that'll help me decide where I want like all of my random like books and binders and notebooks and stuff like that.
guys, I did it. I'm so excited that finally my office little office space is so ready and so cute and I'm so obsessed and I honestly thought this day was not going to come. I didn't think I would finish it. I didn't think it would take me three days, if that makes sense. I honestly thought I could get it on like a day, day and a half. Um, but I also didn't think that I would finish it this early on the third day since I knew it was going to take a third day. So that's even more exciting. But I can't wait to start using it to sit down and work on some stuff. But I will link everything that I bought for this video that I can find. Anyways, that's all I have for you today, guys. I had so much fun doing my little office space organization. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like and subscribe to follow for more videos like this. And let me know if you want to see more organizing. If you want to see like a day in the life working at my new desk, stuff like that. Let me know what you guys are interested in. I'm so excited and I hope you guys have the best week ever. Bye!